Guys, we have breaking news. Casey, hit the breaking news. Breaking news. According to Lee Jenkins of Sports Illustrated, LeBron James is coming home. It's an article that they just posted to Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated's got the whole story. Let's get it up. Let's get it printed. Let's go. Let's get it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh. Oh. It's for real. It just got posted on SI.com. Lee Jenkins had this story, Casey. He's been writing this for days. This ain't happening! He's coming back! Yes! 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 Oh! This is, this isn't real! I can't, I don't believe it. I seriously don't believe this right now. Actually, LeBron wrote it, okay? It's not written by Lee Jenkins, it's as told to Lee Jenkins, okay? Oh, my God, he's coming home. (laughs) I feel, you know, more than anything else right now, I feel very relieved. I'm very relieved. Before anyone cared where I would play basketball, I was a kid from Northeast Ohio. It's where I walked. It's where I ran. It's where I cried. It's where I bled. It holds a special place in my heart. People there have seen me grow up. It sometimes feels like I'm their son. Their passion can be overwhelming, but it drives me. I want to give them the hope when I can. I want to inspire them when I can. My relationship with Northeast Ohio is bigger than basketball. I didn't realize that four years ago. I I do do now. now. He's home. Oh, my Lord. Folks, if you're just joining us, case fade this out i mean this is a historic moment in cleveland sports history folks lebron james is re-signing with the cleveland cavaliers lebron's home we got lebron back (laughs) oh my goodness the story i think big picture of him being away and then coming home is going to go down as one of the greats in american history it's got to it's got to um I would think for most Clevelanders, reading what Matt just read and hearing what Matt just heard is such a relief. It goes to show you that what we suspected for all those years that LeBron really missed home, that he regretted his decision, was really legitimate. He's back. Again, let's, let's go through and read the entire thing here. Start to finish. I've got it up on my computer. This is written for Sports Illustrated by LeBron James himself, as told to a writer named Lee Jenkins, who wrote LeBron's original piece in 2011 after he won the first championship, or 2012, before uh, when LeBron won that first title. And the Sportsman of the Year piece, I believe, too. Before we ever cared where I would play basketball, I was a kid from Northeast Ohio. It's where I walked. It's where I ran. It's where I cried. It's where I bled. It holds a special place in my heart. People there have seen me grow up. I sometimes feel like I'm their son. Their passion can be overwhelming, but it drives me. I want to give them hope when I can. I want to inspire them when I can. My relationship with Northeast Ohio is bigger than basketball. I didn't realize that four years ago. I do now. What a relief. Remember when I was sitting up there at the Boys and Girls Club in 2010? I was thinking this is really tough. I could feel it. I was leaving something I had spent a long time creating. If I could do it all over again, I'd obviously do things differently. But I'd still have left. Miami for me has been almost like college for other kids. 
These past four years helped raise me into who I am. I become a better player and a better man. I learn from a franchise that has been where I wanted to go. I will always think of Miami as my second home. Without the experiences I had there, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. I went to Miami because of D. Wade and CB. We made sacrifices to keep UD. I loved becoming a big bro to Rio. I believe, Mario Chalmers, I believe we could do something magical if we came together, and that's exactly what we did. The hardest thing to leave is what I built with those guys. I've talked to some of them and will talk to others. Nothing will ever change what we accomplished. We're brothers for life. I also want to thank Mickey Arison and Pat Riley for giving me an amazing four years. I'm doing this essay because I wanted the opportunity to explain myself uninterrupted. I don't want anyone thinking he and Spolstra didn't get along, he and Riles didn't get along, the Heat couldn't put the right team together. That's absolutely not true. I'm not having a press conference or a party. After this, it's time to get to work. When I left Cleveland, I was on a mission. I was seeking championships, and we won two. But Miami already knew that feeling. Our city hasn't had that feeling in a long, long, long time. My goal is still to win as many titles as possible, no question. But what, what is most important for me is bringing one trophy back to Northeast Ohio. I always believed that I'd return to Cleveland to finish my career there. This is LeBron. To Sports Illustrated, he's announced he's returned to the Cavaliers. I just didn't know when. After the season, free agency wasn't even a thought. But I have two boys, and my wife Savannah is pregnant with a girl. I started thinking about what it would be like to raise my family in my hometown. I looked at other teams, but I wasn't going to leave Miami for anywhere except Cleveland. The more time passed, the more it felt right. This is what makes me happy. To make the move I needed the support of my wife and my mom, who can be very tough. The letter from Dan Gilbert, the booing of the Cleveland fans, the jerseys being burned, seeing all of that was hard for them. My emotions were more mixed. It was easy to say, okay, I don't want to deal with these people ever again. But then you think about the other side. What if I was a kid who looked up to an athlete, and that athlete made me want to do better in my own life? And then he left. How would I react? I've met with Dan. Face to face, man to man. Wow. That's breaking news. We've talked it out. Everybody makes mistakes. I've made mistakes as well. Who am I to hold a grudge? I'm not promising a championship because I know that's hard to deliver. We're not ready right now. No way. Of course I want to win next year, but I'm realistic. It'll be a long process, much longer than it was in 2010. My patience will get tested. I know that. I'm going into a situation with a young team and a new coach. I will be the old head. But I get a thrill out of bringing a group together and helping them reach a place they didn't know they could go. I see myself as a mentor now, and I'm excited to lead some of these talented young guys. I think I can help Kyrie Irving become one of the best point guards in our league. I think I can help elevate Tristan Thompson and Dion Waiters, and I can't wait to reunite with Ander Anderson Verizal, one of my favorite teammates. This is not about roster or the organization. This is more LeBron, in his own words, to Sports Illustrated, making the announcement he has returned to the Cavaliers. I feel my calling here goes above basketball. I have a responsibility to lead in more ways than one, and I take that very seriously. My presence can make a difference in Miami, but I think it can mean more where I'm from. I want kids in Northeast Ohio, like hundreds of Akron third graders I sponsor through my foundation, to realize there is no better place to grow up. Maybe some of them will come home after college and start a family or open a business. That would make me smile. Our community, which has struggled so much, needs all the talent it can get. In Northeast Ohio, nothing is given. Everything is earned. 
You work for what you have. And I'm ready to accept the challenge. I'm coming home. You know, I think the reactions, guys, as we go around the horn here, and then we're going to get everybody's reaction, and we will be all over this throughout the course of the entire afternoon, um, is so interesting. Casey's reaction is to, like, jump up and down like me on Johnny with SportsCenter. My reaction is much more emotional. Um, for some reason, maybe it's because I'm not from here. Folks, in the end, Case, this is not about basketball at all. This is about an area, a city, what Cleveland means, where it sits in the United States. Um, that essay is going to absolutely go down as the most powerful piece in the history of Cleveland sports. I can tell you already, period. I was honored to have a chance to read it to everyone who likely is driving around or on their phone right now or isn't at a place where they can actually pick up and read it. I want to talk to the native Northeast Ohioans here, obviously. And let's go to Casey first. Case, you're you're much more jumpy up and down than me. I felt relief at first, but then after reading this, I feel really, really emotional, and I bet I'm not alone. I I could seriously cry right now. I'm so happy. When I saw, I looked over at Twitter real quick while you're doing where we were doing the sound check, and I saw a tweet from Mannix that said LeBron's coming home or whatever per. You know, story by whoever the heck wrote it. I don't even remember right now. I'm so fired up. And I click on it, and you see the picture. And if, if you haven't seen the article yet, for the people that aren't in front of a computer, it's a picture of LeBron, and he's got a suit on, and it says exclusive, I'm coming home. And it's just him with holding his hand up. You can see his ring. And it says, by LeBron James. The four-time MVP explained why he is returning to Cavaliers. I thought it was some kind of hoax at first. Yeah. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, no, the URL says SI. Mannix tweeted this. Literally. This is from Lee Jenkins. This is adding up. So I get in your ear, and I go, look at look, look at Mannix's timeline right now. I, I think we have we, breaking we, we news. We were in the middle of the sound check. Are you surprised that I didn't do more jumping, Jackson? Because I've been leading this charge for a long time, Casey. I am, and I think it hasn't sunk in for you yet. No, no, no. I, it hasn't, but also... I can't wait. Nolan ran in here with a video camera, and I'm interested to see my face and everyone's face. There are people gathering already down here at the Galleria. You guys, come on down. Everybody just come down here. There are people outside the window freaking out right now. I can see the reflection. So oh. I get in your ear, and this all happened within about a three-second like moment, and it felt like a minute. I'm like, look at your timeline. I think Mannix is breaking it. And you look, and you let, play let the second in, clip. Let him in. Let him in. And then... You're like, Case, we got breaking news, and I fired it, and it was just like, oh, my God, this is really happening. Like, I believe that, like, you know, hey, Cavs, good karma, hashtag Cavs, good karma. I believe that he was going to come back, but it's still like he picked us. He wants to come back. He wants to fix Cleveland. He understands how important he is to this region. And it's not about just basketball, like you said. There are so many people's lives that depend on this. Think about downtown on game nights again. All those businesses, yeah. all those jobs that are going to be matters. open back up. The, it's going to be incredible. He cares. Casey, the fact that he cares means so much, in and my opinion. This, All those people that have doubted this kid mm. for so long. And there's people that want to talk about his intentions. He's a were. bad guy. This proves to you he has got an unbelievable head on his shoulders. And